Hey guys, it's Jess, and I have three new orchids that I got, well, I, I got two of them today, like 15 minutes ago, and then the other one I got last week, but I wanted to make, I wanted to wait until I made this video so I can introduce this new orchid. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more orchids, but actually two of these orchids were on my wish list, so when I saw them, I had to buy it, buy them. So yeah, um, these two orchids are, or these three orchids are from a Facebook group called RMP Orchids, and they're only a US selling group, orchid selling group. And as far as I know, there's only two vendors. There's Rachel from, I want to say Cali, California. Yeah, Rachel from California, and there's Karen from Ohio, and two are from Karen, and one is from Rachel, so, yeah. I'll show you guys this one first, and this one is Maui Spots, yeah, okay, it's a Calea, here it is, and it only has one root, like, when I received it, it was pretty dehydrated, or, yeah, the roots were pretty dried up, so I'm trying full uh, semi-water culture with this one, um, see how it works, just because it doesn't really have roots, and I can really test it out if it works for me. Um, the new, the new growth right here doesn't have any roots yet, so hopefully those new roots that come out of it can get adjusted to semi water culture um, yeah it has six new growths yeah a uh, non new growths um, six growths in total so I think this one is close to blooming size so it's like a year away I'm pretty sure it is yeah okay the next one is hopefully I can pronounce this one the one has packing peanuts. I love these things. I don't know why. Oh, she did say she was gonna enclose how to take care of it, so. Yeah, these are um, instructions how to take care of it because this is a dendrobium. And this is really cute, actually. Look at this. But yeah, this is a dendrobium, and it's a first one, my very first one. I've never gotten one. I went to Trader Joe's, see if I could find one, but I didn't, so I instead bought two Insidiums. Not recently, that was like a month ago or so. Um, yeah, these, ooh, this is so moist, I can yeah, throw that out. There's a pink packing peanut. Okay. Let me pick this one up. Okay, so it's kind of wet newspaper. And these are cakeys. And those smells weird. Smells like almost like cigarette smoke. I don't know if it's because it's wet. So. This is um, Dendrobium kingianum, kingianum, I feel, yeah, here you go. And I've been looking for this um, Dendrobium. I used to see them a lot when I wasn't very interested on it. But once I started getting interested on the Dendrobium, this one in particular, I couldn't find it. So, yeah, these are cakeys. And Rachel told me they should bloom um, within a year or two. So, not too worried about waiting for it. Oh, waiting for it to bloom. Let me remove all this so I can see it. Oh, I think it's in um, Lekka Beads or Lekka Pebbles, however you like to call it. Actually, let me cut this, the tape.
here it is and it has these like spongy things that are supposed to keep the the moisture in they're not um it's not sphagnum it's just yeah it's I don't know what this is like, I don't know what it's called but yeah it's supposed to keep the moisture in and sometimes it comes with the orchids and these are the like a pebbles are they came with it so I might actually change it into a another another like maybe a cup like this and I'll create like two holes just so it can keep the moisture or the I guess moisture yeah so it can keep keep itself hydrated so yeah this is the first one and the second one I'm pretty excited because it's in bud so I hope it doesn't blast so hopefully it's not I have my fingers crossed and the thank you with a smiley face and there's shredded newspaper. My enemy. Because it creates so much. It creates. Mm, this is well packaged. Um, yeah, it creates a mess on my floor. And I hate sweeping. So. Yeah. Um. Cut the tape. I have my fingers crossed. Hopefully the butt did not blast because I really want to see it bloom. It's not a um, Lenopsis. It's not a... Uh, oh my god. It's not a um, Catacida. It's actually a Pathiopetalum. So it's in bud and I've never had one in bud so here he goes. Ooh, I can see it from here. So pretty. Look at this. Um, this one is, yeah. I just, I didn't really care what Paphiopetalum I got as long as it bloomed for me. It was in bud or something, and I was looking for one. And this one actually is, um, it's really like, it's not green, it's purple. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have like any green at all. It's just purple, and it has like some spots in it, so. Yeah, I'll definitely make a video, a spotlight video, an orchid spotlight video, like I've done with the ones that are in bloom. And this is one I got. So. It looks really good, and it has a new growth. This is exciting. Look at this. I'm really happy. Hopefully the bud doesn't blast. It's so cute. It looks... You guys see it? it? Looks like hairy or something, and hopefully stops moving. Oh, well, yeah, it looks hairy and it looks so cute. I can't wait for it to bloom. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I mean, it has like a little bit of discoloration right here, but that might just be too much sun. Hopefully. I do, I'm not going to repot this just so the bud doesn't blast, but I will keep it separated from the other orchids just in case it has like a bug or something. Um, I did receive, like I said, this one's, the Pachypetalum was from Karen and this one was from Karen too and this one didn't come with any bugs or anything, so I trust Karen that she doesn't have any bugs. Um, this one too, I will repot and just so I can check out its root system and I will also put it to the side and I will watch out for it, see if it has like anything 
any bugs or anything like that. But yeah, these are, it's exciting. Two orchids crossed off from my wish list. Um, and then this one, I got this one because it just looked nice. It looked, I think it's a, a pink cat layer with like some spots, Maui spots. You can kind of tell I had spots. Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys on this video, on the Man Mani Erara Millennial Magic Witchcraft, I'll put a little thing right here so you can check out the video if you haven't seen it. It finally has a scent because when I recorded the video, it didn't have a scent. And then the next day, it had a, it had a scent. So, yeah, I'll show it to you guys because all the blooms have opened and it is magical. Yeah, it has for me, um, the scent is more like spicy mixed in with um, minty. So, it's not that strong. Um, like, after a certain time. So, I'll put this one here so I don't drop it because I tend to drop them. I'll put it here so you guys can see it. But yeah, um... It has a stronger scent towards the morning and after class I had class at 10 so I was done by like 10 30 or so and I came back to my room and my room was filled up with its scent so it had like a minty spicy scent it's not a bad scent I enjoy it just because I love mint so it reminded me of like mint mochas and stuff like that even though it doesn't smell like chocolate just the mint part so although it doesn't have a strong like smell when you smell it if it's like closed off in a room like mine is, like I never have my windows open, the fan is going, you can probably hear it um, in the background. But if it's like in a closed room, the scent stays inside the room. So right now my room doesn't smell like it anymore, but towards like maybe in the morning, like late morning, right before after, um, the afternoon starts, I guess, towards like 10 or so, that's when the, when it, the smell is the strongest so yeah I want to let you guys know just so if you guys want to get one you can know what it smells like to me I have read that other people smell it differently think it's a different smell but yeah to me it smelled minty so if you guys have a witchcraft and you've smelled it tell me what it smells like to you because I find it strange that we can all have like different smells even, like you know even if it's the same orchid but yeah let me know and if you guys like the video please leave a like comment down any future videos you guys want me to do leave the comment down if you have a witchcraft and tell me what it smells like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this maybe not a haul yeah maybe not a haul I promise that this will be the last um, orchid purchase I've made starting now because I did make a, a semi or my boyfriend made a semi big purchase for me for our anniversary and it's the the moats orchids I don't know if you guys knew but he went to I forgot where he went to Thailand I think and he went to find more um, Vandas and I purchased four so I will be getting those mid-November so I'm excited for those that means I need to go shopping for a new stronger light for them so yeah I'll keep you guys updated on the light thing too but yeah that's it because then I will start talking about moats and I don't want to start doing that because this video will turn from 14 minutes and 24 seconds what it is now to like 20 minutes so that's it yeah subscribe if you guys want to see orchid videos thank you guys